What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. Today, we're digging back into the super, super dark, dirty, evil, and wicked world of Forbidden Song. Fantasy battles at the end of the world. We're going to be playing the mission Cut Out Her Heart. Nope, sorry. Cut Off Her Head and Take Out Her Heart. Let's go take a look at the board, talk about the rules of the scenario, and get into this game of Forbidden Song. Welcome, friends. This is going to be our board for Cut Off Her Head and Take Out Her Heart. Our next mission that we're playing for Forbidden Song. So we've got our team, the, the Foolhardy Few, deployed up to six inches in. We have these three crypts. Now our goal is to find and murder rate the Blood Rage Vampire. Now in Solo, I think I'm reading this correctly, when you interact, you do a strength test to interact with the crypts. And if you pass, you roll a d6, and there are things that can happen. Now, my understanding is that there's only, in Solo, there is only one Blood Rage Vampire to deal with. So only one of the crypts can have the vampire. And our goal is to find it, and kicker, we have to get off the board by turn 7. After At the end of turn 7, any models that are still on the board die as they are just overrun as more vampires are called to the graveyard. So, let's get into it. So, the majority of my first turn is going to be just trying to get myself into a position. So, Thazic, the unbuttered, will double move to the door of that crypt. Pepe, or El Bobo, the Patron, will double move to that door. The Distressed Cold, which always sounds like a wrestler's name to me, will move to that door. And... Oselt has a ton of movement. Eight inches. I'm just going to bring her up right there. And Susie the Toothsayer. Going to stay put where she is, just in kind of neutral territory. There are currently no monsters, so we got to turn two. All right, now we're going to start making tests to see if we can find a vampire. So Thazic's going to try to make a strength test on this one. It's target number 12, like everything. All right, so we get in. Let's see what we find. Four. That's going to be a vampire. Right, so we found our vampire, so that means that in one of these, there should be some treasure. So Thazic, or the Distressed Cold, is going to try to see what's inside of that one. He makes it. So this one should be a treasure. Because there's only one vampire, if I'm understanding that correctly. If I'm understanding that wrong, let me know. We get on that treasure roll. A 14, one random clean scroll. Yeah, I'm good with that. Chart. We get a three, not dead yet. A model is awakened with one HP and a new flaw. Move his four over. Uh, El Bobo and Oselt are just going to move. Before they do that, we're going to try to huck a fireball with our flaming hands of Villamex into that vampire. Presence test, 11 plus my presence of three is a pass. So it'll do D6, but it's cruel. Six, vampire has an armor of two, so four damage to that blood rage vampire. And then she will sit right where she is. Ocel makes it all the way up. El Bobo just to barely over the wall, he is fairly slow from his sedentary life of noblery. That'll take us to monsters where our vampire is going to attack somebody. We're down to just a, some base randomization. So on an even, it will attack Thazic the Unbuttered. Even, it will attack Thazic the Unbuttered. Vampire swings. Hits. Me for D6. One damage, and I have... Do I have armor? I do. I have armor And two. I have armor of two, so it will deal no damage to me. Which means it heals nothing, which is a big deal. 
it just kind of glances off my armor. And then we will go to turn three. Hold on. No, we won't. Because I get to strike back, albeit at a minus three. Nope. Nope. That definitely fails to hit. Also, minor correction, he's still over here in front of this door because once you take an action, your activation ends. So he wouldn't have been able to do the door and then move, which is fine. Uh, that'll t that will then take us to turn three. So we're going to start with Thazic, who's going to swing. Getting a three, that's definitely a miss. Vampire will crack back. Getting a 13, which is a hit. And three, minus my armor of two, so I'll take one and the vampire will heal one. Next up for team foolhardy few, we'll have Oselt swing at the vampire. Seven. Plus, oh, she is agility five. So that will hit, that's a 12. With the D6 for her vampiric tongue short sword for five damage against their armor two. So three damage. All right, and then she would normally heal three there, uh, but she's already at full health. She's gonna try to throw another fireball. She does. Let's go. Five damage minus two is three. All right, let's go. That vampire has one point of health left, and I cannot get to it to finish it off this turn. But I can double move. I got a total of six inches. So let's measure carefully here and make sure we're not cheating. Yes, I can get around to that side. Won't be able to swing, but I can get over there. And then... Thazic over here is just going to double move, blurp, to right there. So monsters, so he's got three options. Let's go one, two, three to see who he attacks. Ooh. One, two, so he'll attack Thazic some more. Misses. Thazic gets to crack back. Hits. Even with the minus three. And his weapon hits pretty hard, I believe. He's got a big old... Yeah, he's, he, he hits with a D10. This could be it. Yep. That will kill that vampire. And then he's done because he took an act... Or no, no, that was the, that was the other guys. So then we go to turn four. Okay, so we're into turn four. I got a five inch move on Susie, which is plenty. So she's gonna move and then make the presence test to harvest an organ, which she passes with a 16. So now we have a tasty organ to sell. They do take up a slot though, do I have a slot? I do currently have a slot on her. And from that point, we'll move Thazic. Down this way. And we're going to hold right there. And then turn five, everybody will walk off the board. Quick, easy cleanup for our friend Ripix. Now, again, I'm not certain that I'm doing it right as far as the number of vampires that are on the field. I did get some kind of lucky, good, like good rolls there, both for me as well as the vampire. So that could be a contributing factor there. Uh, I'm also okay with just a quick game, quick little level up, quick little errand. I'm just not certain that if I if I have read the scenario correctly and understand the way that was supposed to be set up. So if I'm mistaken, let me know in the comments. But please, please be be kind about it. Um, and for now, we're gonna get into some post game see what we get for this, and then move on to the next mission. So for that mission, I'm going to net 3 XP, which coupled with the two I had left over, will put me in enough to get something. I'm going to buy a point of agility on Thazic the Unbuttered to increase his movement speed a little bit more. He's still really, really slow, and he's one of my heavy hitters, so I want to be able to get him into the party where the, where the good stuff's happening. I'm not going to buy or sell anything. Nothing, so nothing to worry about there. 
Money wise, I will get 10 gold for killing a vampire, 5 gold for selling the organ that I harvested, and then the normal 10 gold that you get for surviving a mission. And we'll go head back to Vriprix, tell him what we've done, and then we'll head out to see what else he's got for us to do. For today, that's going to be it for this game of Forbidden Psalm. Thanks for tuning in, hanging out while we rolled some dice. If you enjoyed what you saw, Consider smashing all the buttons. If you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. If you want some cool swag, check out the link to Redbubble. And most importantly, I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.